Good morning. Namaste. I wanted to come to all you members of uh, SilasValentine.com and to all you YouTubers out there who uh, might follow our page and just give you some encouragement. Um, we're living in a time and a day and age where there's a lot of unease. I was walking through the grocery stores and there's no paper products. There's very few canned goods. People are are storing up for themselves. They're so afraid of what might happen, and some of it is uh, self-protective measure, and some of it's panic. But the panic and the fear that are being experienced right now by the general public is not new. This panic and fear is not something that has just recently been produced by or caused by the coronavirus. This panic and fear is not something that was caused by the media. The panic and fear that you may be experiencing, that the general public is experiencing, is a fear that has always been under the surface. And it's just manifesting, it's rising up. This pandemic is um, an invitation for you to discover more of who you are, of what you are, beyond the form. To discover the formless form, the selfless self. And I wanted to take a few minutes without going into too much depth. I don't want to wait out into too much depth here today. But I wanted to take a few minutes and just encourage you, give you a few encouraging words. It is a absolutely gorgeous spring day here. It's March, I think 20, whatever. It's March, late March. And um, I don't know, it's close to about 70 degrees here in Virginia. And it's so beautiful. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping. The perfection of this moment <laughs> could not be grander. And as I was kind of walking from my the home that we live in over to this meditation room, the space we call the space, I uh, was just looking up into this beautiful March sky and observing the clouds. And I began to think about how the clouds, if they were able to fear how they might fear dying or becoming nothing, the unknown. And so for a moment, just I'm going to use this example for a moment. I want you to picture in your mind a cloud passing through the sky. She is terrified of becoming nothing, of dying. She does not know what lies beyond the moment she's in. She is not conscious of the moment she's in because all the fear and the the nervousness, the anxiety is building within her about what could be. I don't want to become nothing like all these other clouds that I've seen. But if this cloud were to look into herself deeply, were to deeply look into herself, she would discover that everything, including her own nature, is changing continually. This is what I would like to refer to you today as impermanence. That nothing is as it seems except for what is. <laughs> and this cloud that's passing through the sky, as she looks deeply into herself, she can begin to recognize something beautiful about her state of existence. And that is that she can change. The cloud is just a concept. What she is referring to herself, what she has identified as herself is just a concept, cloud. And she can change. She can transform into rain or snow or ice. But she can never become nothing. Nothing doesn't exist. 
And when she begins to realize that she will always be the selfless self, the one that lies just beyond the things she's identified in and as, this one that lies just beyond the belief of herself, when she can begin to look truly deeply into her own nature and see that she is so much more than that concept called cloud, then the fear of death, the fear of the unknown begins to dissipate. And eventually, as she explores the depth of this newfound realization, eventually, it'll pass away completely. I want to encourage you today that we're living in a beautiful time. Eden is all around you. The perfection of this moment could not be greater. I want to encourage you to look into this moment to be here with me in this now to realize that there is no next and to be okay with there not being a next and then i want to encourage you to look into yourself and see that you are so much more than the form that you've identified as than the body you've identified as that you're so much more than the food that you're taking into your system that you're so much more than the water that you're imbibing. You're just so much more. I want to encourage you to look into your true self and see that while your body might transition, it might transform, it will never become nothing. You will never become nothing. That who you really are and what you really are is so much greater than what you yet to realize. And as you explore your true nature, the fear will pass away. So I want to encourage you today to, to not buy the hype. But if you're feeling fear, if you're feeling anxiety, to be honest with yourself. To admit that you're feeling those things. And to begin to ask the question, who is feeling those things? Is this my truest nature, my truest essence? Or... Is this just the idea that I have of myself, a mere thought, a mere concept that is feeling this fear, this anxiety, this panic? And I want to encourage you when you're feeling or if you're feeling that fear to treat it as a doorway, an invitation, if you will, into a beautiful journey, a beautiful exploration of who and what you truly are. I hope you guys have a beautiful day, and I'll talk to you soon.